Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to be unboxing and installing a new lithium battery. This is made by U Plus and it's a 12 volt battery, lithium, very light. And it's a fairly large one, as you can see. Normally, the last battery that I put, I actually put a tiny little battery on my GL1100 and it fired up that bike. So I'm interested in lightening up maybe my T-Max or the FJR 1300. So I decided to get this by U Plus. And I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna buy this. I've been very pleased with lithium batteries so far. So you have a little manual and then you have the installation method. These lithium batteries are so light and small that they usually give you a way of installing the various components. So the, here is, is the bolt terminals. They give you a little screwdriver. That's always handy to have. And then they have like this. This is more for the shipping, but mo maybe some applications, this packing material could be useful. And they have this. This is a platform. So a lot of the many motorcycle Battery containers are a little bit too big because these batteries are small. We're going to open up this bag. A little piece of foam here. Now here's something I really like about these lithium batteries. Other than them just being extremely lightweight, they have a power button where you can check the voltage of this. So it's on uh, and then it says low and medium. So um, I'm pretty sure as you're riding, it'll climb up to full. On this, this is really interesting. Um, so you have a positive, a negative, and then a negative, and another negative. That's a very interesting way of doing it. That means that you can install this in many motorcycles. Some have the negatives on this side, some over here. So that is a very handy thing. I, you know, I've installed other lithium batteries and I've not seen that in any other battery. That's a brilliant way of doing it. So they have these little rubber caps and they give you positive, positive, negative, negative. So four terminals. Also give you this. And this goes on the base. You can see it locks in. And you take these little screws, put this on. So next thing we're gonna do is just install this on my bike. I've decided to install it on my FJR 1300. This battery by U Plus should be able to crank this, no problem. We are gonna be removing this battery and you see this cord here? This is what I use for my electric gear. And one of the things that this particular battery, battery has is the, they have two sets of terminals. So I can put my accessories on one and then put the terminals for the battery, for the, the bike on the other. So let's see if we can get this plastic out. That was easy, okay. Get this. There we go. See it using a 10 millimeter. Now let's get this battery out. Just pulling it right out. And that's the old battery. It's a whole lot heavier than the one we're putting in. I am gonna add the, some of the packaging and foam from the original box that came with the battery. And I'm just simply gonna add it here and it's a perfect fit. Look at this, with that little foam, we're almost at the same level as the original. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna add a battery and lighten up the load on this bike. Like I mentioned before, the original battery on the FJRs, they put it really high up. I mean, it's right here, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So the first thing I would do on this particular bike and the ones that have the battery high up, high up like the Yamaha T-Max is replace it with a lithium battery. You'll save a bunch of weight and it'll feel much better. So after some wrestling with the plastic, this is a very tight fit. It is on there. Now I just have to strap this in. And then deposit it on the other side. 
start the bike. Do we have power? We have power. Let's see. And that's it. That's how you install the battery. Now the only thing left to do is clamp everything down and then just go for a ride. Main benefit as I see it is the weight. The lithium batteries are significantly lighter than lead acid batteries. And this can be a very crucial factor for motorcycles where minimizing the weight is often a priority. Lithium ion batteries have a higher energy density, meaning they can store more energy in a smaller and lighter package. This results in motorcycles having more power without sacrificing space or adding excessive weight. Lithium batteries like this U+, Plus, they generally have a longer lifespan compared to lead acid batteries. They can withstand more charge discharge cycles providing better durability over time. Charging time. Lithium ion batteries typically charge much faster than the lead acid type. The performance. Lithium ion batteries offer better performance in terms of power delivery. They can provide more consistent and higher voltage contributing to improved overall motorcycle performance. Lithium batteries require less maintenance compared to the lead acid batteries. They don't need periodic uh, water top ups. There's also no risk of acid leakage, making them much more user friendly. One of my things that I always do on my bikes is if the battery goes dead, I'll just get a lithium battery. I'd rather have a little bit of a lighter performing bike. I haven't started since putting on the battery and right right away and it fits even in large motorcycles I took the other lithium battery that I had on my Goldwing and I put it on my PCX this particular one is awesome because it's got the additional plugs for the heated vest and stuff I really like that I wasn't expecting that when I first got the battery. Well guys, that is the lithium battery installed on the FJR. And I'm a pretty big fan of this because I have it on the PCX, I have a lithium battery, and I have another lithium battery on the CRF. I used to have one on the Goldwing, but I transferred it over to that because it's a little bit a better size for this one. And this one doesn't weigh a lot. I love riding this thing. but. Next up, that battery that I just put on this would do really well on this old Goldwing, I think. So it really depends on which bike I keep longest. I, I really like this one, but uh, you know that's my workhorse, and that's why I have the lithium battery on it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description for this particular uh, lithium battery. It's not too expensive, and it lasts a whole lot longer than the lead acid batteries here's two lead acid batteries that i have this one's from the pcx and this heavy monster oh my god this thing is just so heavy it is from the fjr it's still good but man i love reducing the weight to bikes if i can help it i'll definitely do that it's one of my go-to mods